Hello, today's talk is about the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency in women and what can be done about it. I'm Andrea Marsh, I'm a Shiatsu and Chinese medicine practitioner in the UK and I specialise in helping women alleviate their menopausal symptoms naturally. I know how effective supplements can be and I became a Modexus advocate when I noticed major changes in my fatigue levels after taking one of their supplements, Lonicera Longevity. I'm thrilled to be joined today by the founder of the Medexus range, Dr. Charles Rouse. Dr. Rouse is a registered pharmacologist and pharmacist and a doctor of natural medicine. As the head of the Medexus Product Research Council, he formulates the natural products for our health and longevity. Thank you for joining me today, Dr. Rouse. And we're talking about vitamin B12 deficiency and the autoimmune disorder, pernicious anemia. This seems to be a growing issue in women as they head towards the perimenopause. I wondered if you could shed light on this and what can be done. Hey, and, and always a pleasure, Andrea. Um, I love the way you say vitamin. Uh, over here, they make me say vitamin, and I'd rather say vitamin and, and, and B, B12. Uh, the methylcobalamin, the molecule B12, is very, very influential in the human body. And you know that sometimes just getting it past the stomach and into the blood has always become an issue. And because of that, we've seen a lot of women become anemic. And when they get anemic, uh, they get very tired, they get very pale, they get very listless, they lose a lot of activity in life, and they just have no idea that how important the B vitamins are. Now, let me tell you good news. Andrea is talking about a new nutritional product by Modexis. We call it Lanacera Longevity. Now, out of that little berry, the Lanacera berry, it's a purple berry. We went to the farthest reaches of Canada into British Columbia, into the uh, Vancouver region. And their organic farmers were growing this uh, berry that in research was showing phenomenal longevity, longevity uh, nutritional uh, power. And so we asked the farmers of Canada could we buy their organic berry and on a regular basis? We needed a continual su supply line. And these farmers were so neat. They don't use any chemical warfare on their, on their bushes. Uh, they have these uh, robotic machines that go by and bathe, shower the bushes off in the berries. Anyhow, as an organic chemist, we were interested in the purple because in the spectrum of the berry, the purple has to be just right. And with spectrometers, we can now read the color spectrum of the berry. These organic farmers are pulling the berries that we need at the perfect day. And what happens, Andrea, is that they give us a lot of B vitamins. B1, B2, B3, B5, B6, B12. B number one is thiamine, very important for the cardiovascular system. B number two is riboflavin, very important for uh, preventing headaches and dark circles under the eyes and, and grit in the eyes. B number three is niacin, makes you feel nice. Hey, if you can't get down and squat, get back up without crack, snap, or pop, you need more B3, niacin. If you're arthritic or your joints are, are stiff, B number three, niacin. B number five is pantothenic acid. It controls the adrenal system. That's your, uh, your, your ability to sleep better at night, but have energy in the day. B6, I guarantee you that B6 is God's gift to women because it controls all 50 major hormones of the female anatomy. But what Andrea is talking about today is B number 12, the methylcobalamin molecule. And it is directly related 
It comes from the berry, Lana Sarah. It's directly related to your iron levels. We don't want you to be overloaded with iron because that'll make you just as sick as no iron. And we don't want you to be underloaded with iron because then you just feel discombobulated. But besides going to Canada for the berry, we heard about a nutrition called the Maquis berry in Patagonia, way down south in Chile. Now, can you imagine? Modexis decided to go to the farthest reaches south in the world, Patagonia, to the northern region where things would grow, the British Columbia, and we borrowed the two berries and brought them together. And here's what happened. Andrea, we found that in our clinical research and looking at what we had in our berries was all the B vitamins, including B12. And in that B12, we needed all the minerals that would complement the B vitamins. And so what we did, we went to a, um, um, an expert in Oklahoma, that's in the United States, in the middle of the United States, Oklahoma. And he had a, um, a, a, um, a uh, dirt farm where they dig down a mile deep into the earth. And when they got down one mile down into the dirt, they found something miraculous. They found the plant material still green and vibrant that had been buried there by mud and silt and water 4,000 years ago. And here we had the pristine, purest organic material. We had we have plant material in our possession that is like the plants were 4,000 years ago before man started messing everything up. And when we recognize that in the humic, fumic, in the plant organic chemistry, we were looking at the world's best supply of plant provided minerals. Now, most minerals, Andrea, come from rocks, minerals, which are very hard to dissolve and absorb and to assimilate. But plant minerals are nanotechnology. They are so small and so unique that the body can absorb and assimilate them instantly. So we took that, that very trademark mineral product, they call it Sintramin, S-E-N-T-R-A-M-I-N. -E it contains every mineral needed by the human body, and it comes in the exact proportions of which are the smallest sizes, including iodine and iron, molybdenum, manganese, magnesium, potassium, you name it, we got it. And we put it in Lana Sarah Longevity. So now when you swallow Lana Sarah Longevity for the first time in your life, you're not only gonna get all the complements of the B vitamins, you're gonna get the perfect complement of every mineral that the B vitamins want to work with we have a product that is synergistic. It's like this one works with that one, but one plus one doesn't equal two. It's better than that. <laughs> it's more powerful than that. So whenever you're looking for somebody who has thyroid issues, adrenal issues, when they're already looking for mineral imbalances, anemia, et cetera, we got the answer. You so <coughs> Absolutely fascinating. I was enthralled then. Um, so taking from that then, so so many women go and receive a B12 injection. And, and, and then something like magnesium is a very bulky supplement as well. If I've understood you correctly, what you're saying is because you've taken such a, I don't know what's the word, maybe primordial essence that we yes. don't need the bulkiness or the sheer amount or size? Because I've looked, some B12 supplements are 60 or thousand percent, but you're saying we've got a pure essence of it, which is a, a fraction of the size of the bulkiness of magnesium. You know, they're like horse pills, aren't they? But we're, we're getting that, but we're getting it from an essence, from a very small size. I love your intelligence. You are a smart, smart woman. And, and you have caught on very quickly. Now, let's go back to the shop. 
and there are women who go get a B12 shot once a week. Ask the physician what's going in the needle, you know, and, and then they say, okay, B12, the, the, the molecular base is called cobalamin, but in the shot, in the pharmaceutical shot, sometimes they usually, generally use cyanocobalamin, right? Cyano. Uh, have you ever heard the word cyano? It comes from cyanide. All right. For me personally, cyanide is out because I learned early on in organic chemistry, cyanide is not healthy. It's more toxic than it is beneficial. So when it comes to B12, there are two forms of B12. Cyano, which is cyanide, I leave that alone, whether it's pill, sublingual, or shot. I'm always in for methyl cobalamin, which is active, bioactive, and very easily used. That's what's in all of the products that Dr. Charlie ministers to people. And in the minerals, the best news is that nanotechnology, the smaller the molecule in the right proportion, so you want more calcium, magnesium, potassium than you do manganese, boron, or anything else. In that plant is the perfect molecule at the right size. We're able to extract it, put it into the product, and now with methylcobalamin, natural, bioavailable, we're utilize, utilizing all of the minerals that the body can actually absorb because let me tell you when you get down to tissue uh, those those little cracks and crevices are tiny <laughs> and a big old bulky magnesium and potassium ain't going in there until something is broken down and all these plants have done all the breaking down for us before we even have to swallow it that's the reason eating your fruits and vegetables are always more efficient that's the reason in in Rodexus, Lana, Sarah, we're using organic berries in their natural condition with all of the supplements that come with it. We don't extract it or, or move things away from it. We leave it in its natural, pristine purity. Oh, I know. It's fascinating. And just very quickly, I know that I looked at Lana, Sarah on, is it the ORAC scale, which measures how powerful an antioxidant it is? Yes. And that people know nowadays that blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are good, and they're in the thousands on the RX scale, but I think you know how high uh, Lonicera is on the RX scale? I know it. At, at, at Tufts University up in, up in the Boston region in the United States, they, they were looking at antioxidants with ORAC values, um, and, and consider this. Because of the Lanocera longevity, it's enhanced with glutathione, which is a miracle nutrition, glutathione. At your ORAG value, the, the berry itself, already in the thousands, not the hundreds, when glutathione comes along and works synergistically with the Lanocera berry or the Marquis berry, our ORAG value is in the millions just because it's continuously recycling, refurbishing, rejuvenating, redoing, and it's again and again and again. And because of that, our, our glutathione level is always lowest in the morning. And first thing every morning, Dr. Charlie, we want to swallow up two glutathiones because I'm off to the races. Yeah, oh, that's fascinating. And yeah, I take mine first in the morning like it was a probiotic to get it straight into my system. So I could listen to you all day and I could probably ask you questions all day as well. <laughs> but we need to wrap this up. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your knowledge and creating these fantastic supplements. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you again. And if anybody would like to know any more about um, the Modexus range of the Lonicera products, then please contact me at cotswoldmenopause.co.uk. Thank you.